Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's showtime. Now, uh, I had commented that uh, the appearance of Lens in game did not match the appearance of his clothing. This is showing the clothing with the ugly banana color. But in game, it was sort of a greenish and had an entirely different pattern on it. Let's see what happens. Is it a display bug or a bug bug? No, no, it's the banana. Okay, so uh, whatever I was, it was showing last night was a display bug. Not my fault, man. Not my fault. Uh, let's see. I don't have any of the bits or pieces that I need for making food. That was quick. Harley Q002 has followed. I have a I have a spiel for people who follow. Welcome to my humble little stream of misfunction, malfunction, dysfunction, and frequently complete and total unfunction. You're most welcome indeed, and thank you very much for the follow. Howdy. I have absolutely none of these items. Hmm. I guess I won't be making myself any food just yet, then. Well, except that food, of course. Uh, where to next? Meet Belgrim at the Cinder Brew Meadery. Well, it's supposed to be in this direction. It must be quite a long ways away. Take candle. Poor bastards, we've been killing them for their candles for almost 20 years now. What is your query? Thank the Titans, the Neuropians have not made their move to take the mead yet. May the edicts guide you. All the cinderbrew kegs here, this meadery would burn hotter than the forage grounds. They're all ignited. Collect four rope fuses. Connect four rope fuses to sizzling kegs. I can do that. Evacuate eight unbound mead Let's workers. I can do that, sure too. This will work, it will. It has to. Then let's get started. You gotta get out of here right now. Terrible things are about to happen. I'm not actually sure that um, mead can have a high, high enough alcohol content to burn. I mean, if you distilled it, sure, but I don't think mead would burn. Apparently, uh, I'm evacuating them by screaming at them enough that they'll evacuate themselves. Which could have two different meanings. Did the first couple of times. There we are. And three. You 
you got to get out. Insert bad Scottish accent here. Throw a keg of cinder brew mead into the Nubian barrow, and then return to the mead yard. We set off the keg and hurry back to the mead yard. Then we will finish our preparations. Indeed, we will finish our preparations. champion let's burn some nerubians to cinders that's a little dark i mean they're the bad guys the clearly i'll lead them into the trap awful evil big spooters and whatnot but still that's a little dark it is my oath sworn duty to protect the core i'm gonna get new pants they're even better than my current pants. The Nerubians will soon start swarming from the north. Uh, let's see. Lots of pollen. Place our defenses in their path. The honey will slow them down, and the mead and pollen will help us tear through them. Let's see if we can't explode them real good. Out of time. Come, let us get you on a storm rook. Ooh, I get to fly and burn them, burninate them. Thought I was going to be on a storm rook. Aren't, aren't I going to be on a storm rook? I Ooh. follow the council's oh, direction. Prepare yourselves. They are coming. I wish I could move the keg. We will keep them gathered by the kegs, thin out the swarm, and stop them from getting past us. And from wrecking my meanery before we do. Ah, I keep getting that one by accident. Chewing through the fuses. We still have two fuses left. Keep fighting. Keep drawing them in. No. They've severed all of the fuses. It's not my fault. I'm killing them as fast as I can. All right, Balegrim, do your thing. The fuses. We can't ignite the kegs. I must fulfill my edict. What? Forget the edicts. I cannot. That is why it must be me. You must guide the Earthen. Balegrim! <laughs> One last ride, then you are free. Oh, that's nice that he thinks of his bird friend. Xerix! <laughs> My directive is to protect this isle and the earthen. All the earthen. <laughs> Glory to the Titans! Long live the earthen! And earth shattering kaboom. I still don't think meat burns. A 
little fireworks. Oh, twisting paths. Yeah, he's gone. We did it, but. Uh, so far, I'm enjoying it. It has certain mechanics that I like rather a lot. Um, I like that we can follow the story in a single-player mode in the dungeons. I think that's a huge story win for a player like me who mostly plays solo. Uh, I also like the Delves a lot. Those are the two big things that stand out, certainly. Uh, it seems to be very successful, so I'm going to assume most of the players know what they're talking about. Although I think the general opinion was higher on uh, Dragon Ride, Dragon Riding, Dragon Thingy, um, than I personally held. So far, I'm more impressed with this than I was um, Dragonflight. Part of that is simply because, as a Guild Wars 2 player, I am already familiar with the basic mechanics of the dragonfly. I can't speak highly enough about this uh, inclusion of single player content. Finally realizing that a very large portion of their player base plays, if not all the time solo, plays a lot of solo. And so being able to experience the storyline dungeons and being able to um, do the delves is, I think, a big, big win for a large portion of the player base. Um, as an example of the opposite, about the only thing I didn't like about Legion was that if you wanted to advance the storyline or even crafting, you had to do dungeons. And I thought that was just terrible design, where that had never been the case in the past, where, to, you know, to... to level up your crafting you had to do dungeons and so i am very pleased with the return of not a single player focus but re-embracing uh, the people who go through a single player experience and we will disenchant that Where to next? Uh, return to Merrick's metrics. Merrick's in Donegal. Queuing up with four random people who are powering through it at max speed isn't a fun way to experience dungeons as a part of the story. I couldn't agree more. That was my... Uh, I'm not... I wouldn't describe myself as part of the target audience for Final Fantasy XIV. But I was playing it in good faith, you know, trying to find out the things I liked in it, the things I didn't like in it. And what you just described was the thing that killed the game for me. I'm playing through, I got to the mid-twenties, level-wise, and you had to do, to continue the storyline, you had to do a dungeon. And what I experienced is exactly what you just described. There was no griefing. Uh, there was no problems, anything like that. That wasn't the issue. The issue was not a word was spoken. Everyone else was higher levels. They were just doing their daily uh, uh, required dungeon runs. They sprinted through the whole thing. I did almost no damage. I couldn't have time to even look at the scenery. I have no idea what the storyline was. And I got to the end and I got some loot. And I got out and I said, that was the most miserable dungeon experience of my life. And the next quest was another dungeon, and I uninstalled right then and there. It's like doing a speed limit on the highway, getting beeped at to speed up. Yeah. Not even that. They're passing you on, on the shoulders. They're not even bothering to beep. These people, it was, the, it was the, the least interactive experience I've ever had with other human beings. But I literally uninstalled after the next quest in the storyline was another dungeon. I just, no interest. That's the opposite of what I want from my gaming experience. If I'm going to play a single player game, I want a single player game. If I'm going to play a multiplayer game, I at least want the option of playing multiplayer when I want and single player when I want. But this wasn't that case. I serve the Titans unswervingly. That's nice for you and the Titans. Recompense. Speak to Edelgon to inform Merrick's of 
Belgrim's Fate. I have worked. Might as well replace Group Finder with AI bots. I would rather have the bots because I'd be able to run it at my own pace. I'm an older gamer. No, really. I'm much older than I look. I'm not 23. Um, and I've always played at a more deliberate pace. I like to take my time on the things I want to take my time and speed through the things I want to speed through. And I get really uncomfortable playing at somebody else's pace. And this was a, an instance where I would rather have had the NPCs that you get here when you're running in a dungeon in solo mode or the NPC that you have in delve mode. Either of those would have been vastly superior. I could have played through the dungeon at my own pace. I could have followed whatever story there was in the dungeon. I could have admired the craftsmanship of the game design that went into it, the encounter design. But no, I spent the entire frickin' dungeon trying to catch up to the guys powering through the whole thing. That is entirely correct, Felsen. Old, old, old. Uh, who am I talking to? Battle gone. We'll skip the conversation, just, uh, yeah. And then... Witness. Do I witness with I him? Bid you Let's do it! We're fixing all the broken stuff. Through the magic of clicking. Conversation initiated. And these new shoes are not as good as my current shoes. Very well. Outlander. I will they will be disenchanted the for materials. It is my home. And it too may need defending. I have finished the Isle of Dorne. Find Speaker Brinth at the bottom of the corridor. Very good to meet you. Yeah, it's very good to be met. Thank you. And now, the second map awaits. Really? That that's the best you've got, Felson? I'm so old that I fart dust. You can do better. Haven't hit any of the walls yet. That was a kiss of death right there. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're now deep underground. Definitely nice transition, zone transition they've got there. Under control. The remember when games had... In, no, I, no, I remember even before they had engaging stories. I remember when they had no stories at all. And all they were was... Um, shoot your gun and hit the things. I remember ASCII games. Like the old Star Trek. What is your query? I remember the predecessor to Asteroids. Space War. Well, except that quarter munchers aren't quarter munchers anymore. They're called microtransactions, and they'll set you back eight bucks, eight bucks a pop, or more if you play, say, Poe. Poe is, by the way, a great game. The microtransactions. Holy shit! We turn if you have more. Uh, help the machine speakers secure Iron Hall Station. All right, I will. I'm going to do that Jacks won't right now. Injured, then we will. Investigate the derailed minecart. Well, I'm also old enough to remember uh, everyone laughing at the original microtransaction of a different skin for your horse in an RPG. Remember everyone laughing and saying, who the hell would buy anything like that? How about a nice little glacial spike? Yep, that's the one, the horse armor from Oblivion. Who knew that the Oblivion was gaming rationality? 
That was what was being obliviated. Got laughed at for buying a WoW sub. Didn't you just buy the game too? Well, I, I mean, I can understand. You would still get laughed at now, I would expect, simply because so many people are not interested in a game they actually have to pay for even once. Once it's free to play. How's the free to play experience? You know, I play a lot of various and sundry games, including a fair number of free to play games. And my basic rule is if I'm enjoying a free to play game, I want to spend some money. I want the developers to keep making the game that I'm enjoying. So I am willing to pay money for a free to play game. More than willing. If I'm enjoying it, I'm just, I actually want to spend money. I know that's crazy talk. Where are you going? How about you eat a glacial spike? Enjoyed your gaming meal. We'll be back next week. Have some money. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Too many people don't want to pay for their games, no matter how much they're enjoying them, how much they're playing them. Regaining strength. Oh, that's a that is a long time issue of mine with all MMOs, not just WoW by any means. Do I have to kill this guy? Well, evidently, I, I'm going to have to. I can't stand uh, anti-exploit stuff that leads to um, evading mobs. I hate it so much. What else do we have here? Uh, I need to blow up some more bots. I do really enjoy my glacial spikes, you know? Nice 400k crit to finish something off. Uh, I probably need to kill two more. Uh, that one's the one that's evading, so that ain't going anywhere. Or res a couple of dudes. Sure, sure. Expressing relief. Expressing Glad relief. I'm sure you friendly. are. Check on the I mean, I understand I why them. people want a free-to-play game, for sure. But at a certain point, you've got to realize that if, you, if you're not willing to pay anything for that game or any of the other games that are out there, sooner or later you're not going to have access to any games. Now, I've been paying serious bucks for games for 40 years. Certainly any access to new games but no access at all to any game as a service. My first computer I bought in 79 or 80, I believe, was an Apple II Plus. And the, there was a specific game I was buying it for. I mean, other games had my interest, but there was one specific game. It was a $99 game called um, Computer Bismarck from SSI, the guys who would later on make the first D&D games, the gold box D&D games. And at that time, it was advertised, I think, as the... Because I think the base price for an Apple II Plus at the time was ten ninety nine. So I think it was advertised as the $1,199 game because you had to buy a computer to play it. I speak for the machines. So I've been paying real money for games for a long time. A Skarden here... Does the high speaker Meet know? Speaker Brinte in Gundergaz. That is not your concern. We do as he commands. Who is this high speaker Great everyone keeps talks, talking about? C64, very nice. And pirating games was kind of a hobby back then. I had a lot of games pirated 
but most of them I didn't play. I almost I bought almost all of my games. Outlander. The pirated ones were sort of this like collecting games. The, the way you would collect stamps. And I yeah, trading games was a culture. Uh, I, I, I got there was a game that sort of a life changing game, the first sort of real D and D type game called I Wizardry. If you've never played Wizardry, you've probably heard of one of the various problem. later versions. Wizardry got all the way up to, I think, 7, and there was what an MMO that, that, that had permadeath that was Wizardry. But I saw a pre-release version of that, where the bottom floor, for instance, was a was a 10 by 10 um, matri you know, 10 by 10 layout that was empty. It had no walls, no monsters, or anything. And every map was a 10 by 10 you are done. Return of walls and rooms and corridors and monsters and stuff. And it played like a D&D game. And it was broken. just so mind-blowing to me that they could put that kind of experience into the computer. And later on, Diablo, Diablo 1, I had an Amiga as well. I don't remember which model. Uh, it was the uh, the uh, the keyboard and computer were a single unit. I don't remember which model that was. My brain is telling me 500, but I no, you just said 500. It wasn't a 500, so I can't remember what that model was. It isn't the 500. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I bought all kinds of computers. I bought them to play games on. I bought consoles. I have. Over there, about eight feet, ten feet from me, is is a Neo Geo, which was the highest Indian uh, console that was available at the time. But all of them were purchased for games. Now, to be clear, the Apple II Plus, I eventually expanded. I bought a 16K... That's not 16 meg, that's 16K memory expansion for it to get it up to 64K so that it could run the Pascal language system. And then I used Pascal language system and did my coding for my computer science degree as much as I could on my Apple II Plus. So it very much helped me get my college degree, get into the tech industries, and so it had a knock-on effect, but I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for games. Sega console, uh, my Sega Genesis is about 20 feet in that direction, or at least the games are. I have a big carry-all bucket filled with my Genesis games. And then the Pentium PCs, uh, my first was, I think, a 386SX, I believe. You have my focus. Only later would I find out from a friend who got a job at Intel that the difference between the SX and the regular 360, uh, 386 <coughs> was literally they cut a single trace. That was the difference. They took a regular 386 and brain damaged it and sold it as a 386 SX. Task resumed. Accompany Brinth as they talk to the Earth. The deep All right, I will accompany Brinth. Or I guess Brinth is going to accompany me. Probably burnt out as you might have felt in careers, twilight years. I, my first company was, well, initially out of college, I was hired by the Department of the Navy. I didn't join the Navy. I was hired by the Navy. Is that and, um... Speaker acknowledged. I was hired for a, a terrible job. It might not have been a terrible job, but it was a terrible job to start. Shift. As I didn't even have to touch a computer. I was filling in data sheets that went off to the data entry people with the keyboards. So I was using a pencil to copy information onto a piece of paper that would then get data entered. Because the guy who had hired me wasn't going to need me for a project until six months later. Fortunately, my resume surfaced at uh, a significantly large um, Silicon Valley company named after a fruit. 
Um, and I worked there. And what I found out there was the job can be meh if you're working with people that you enjoy working with. And I was very fortunate so that until my last job, the only job I ever quit, as opposed to being laid off or having the company fold, um, was one I couldn't stand. Because the company I had been working for, we got bought out, and the new company didn't know what to do with me, and it was miserable and stressful, and that's when I retired. You've got to shock the monkey indeed. War speaker Brinth, you've returned. Unlike the missing shipments from Taylock. I uh, saw time. Peter Gabriel's um, so tour, and he some shocked the monkey. Times have changed. You have to manage remote workers in six different cities. Uh, we, by the time um, I was in my next to the last company, we had a lot of work getting done overseas already. We had um, we had a worker group in in China coding and another in India coding. You don't so that was already happening. It's Are you here to deal with the Kobold raids? The high speaker won't lift a finger to help. That was a company that was doing uh what am I looking for now here? In here. Um doing software for cell phones before smartphones. So the old Nokia bricks, um, RIM. So working in the, on the Blackberries and, and working in Symbian. No, it was not. Um, although, again, because I was working with good people, especially your boss, there's no more single important person in your life when you're working other than maybe your spouse, other than your boss. Moira, please continue speaking to the citizens here. Out yes, but it has been broken for millennia. That is why our numbers are dwindling. I do want to make sure I grab... The Hearthstone. Hearth me up. Is there a problem? Daddy? I wish I hadn't said that. The gears turn once more. I assume I still don't have anything I can cook up for food to, you know, get better at my cookeration. Nope, not yet. All right. I mean, a man wants to get better at his cookeration, you know. Strike while the iron's hot. Conjured help. Summon food for innkeeper. Racks. The work continues. Back to work. Uh, you don't want to try a nibble of cobalt? I'm, I'm trying to cut down on my cobalt, but uh, thank you. Bring him 80 conjured mana buns. Okay, well, that's going to take just a second. That's 40. Oh my god, really? There's a cooldown on that? I had no idea. Yes, way. Lens, uh, Lens World of Warcraft stream. Yesterday and today. Uh, my highest level character is almost level 77 now in the new expansion. But I'm, uh, I'm leveling up my namesake... Professor Lens, I'll have you know. New zones feel a little claustrophobic. This one certainly does, I agree. The island, I didn't feel that at all, but this Are one I definitely here do. Help? Here's your buns. Always another time. Wow, you're like a machine, but also a vendor. A machine vendor? Close. I like to think of myself as a sex machine first, and then a vending machine second. Hey, fat buddy, how you doing tonight? Do you need something? Only 5,400 XP? The bleep? Stay focused. And now I will just make another batch of um, mana buns for myself. You know what they are? They're Cinnabons. 
If you've had a Cinnabon, you know that that fills up your health and your mana. Keep busy. We must restore the machine. Where are we off to? Here we're looking for his brass knuckles. There's a place we had to f beat up some people to get the brass knuckles, I think. Uh, defenders reassured. Sure, we'll do that one first. Oh, we'll do that one first. There we are. Well, these are dwarves, so if they're making you thirsty, you just need to get Look yourself an ale. Mask, beaten back and battered with nothing to show for it. Speaker Brynth and I are going to investigate the Cobalt Incursion. Hold on until we get Return back. Into work. Don't worry, I'll just reassure Another everybody. As uh, Azeroth, but under the ground, most, mostly. So, you start here in Kazalgar which is down here in yet another Thanks place we've never been that never appeared on the maps in the past. Let's count the mines. Um, and the first map is the Isle of Dorne, which is outdoors. Interesting map. Nothing earth-shaking, at least in the map. The fact that you can solo dungeons now with NPCs and you've got other single-player, well, one or more player content with the Delves is very different. Yes. Oh, another continent we didn't know about. Um, and then the other three zones are underground. Right now I'm in the ringing depths. Ashkehet is the Nerubians. Uh, I don't know about Hallowfall much at all. Really, anything at all. Don't know nothing about nothing, you know? Vantage point. And stick the landing. Candle paint is crazy. First and cold is war, but the man won't peace. The candle king is Can crazy. Perhaps we face a common foe. Leave no stone behind. Recover identification blacks. And cobalt shoulder. Terminated. Kill invading kobolds in the Return lost lives. And theory. skitter. Recover flicker flame candles from around the lost lives. Considering theory. If we depose this candle king, then perhaps... Deposing the, the candle king, I believe there's a dungeon there where you actually fight the candle king. So, in short, we will take the goddamn candle. Uh, flicker flame kobolds and flicker flame candles. Need both. How about you guys catch? That's some good catching for you. It worked for me, gotta say. Yeah, we killed three of them and got a candle. They really are big on candles, aren't they? I mean, I understand they're gnomes, and gnomes have a thing for candles, but that just seems a little bit over the top even for gnomes. Oh, flicker flame candles. Have a glacial spike. You'll love the flavor. Good old Frost Mage. I've played a lot of Frost. Wow, he's big. That's a flicker flame candle crusher. I've played a lot of Frost Mage over the years and a lot of Arcane. But other than when the game initially came out, I haven't played flame Fire in forever. Because it's always been good. And I'm one of those 
people who is predictably um, unwilling to do what everyone else is doing, even when it's the smart thing to do. I'll show everyone I'll not be the smart guy. All right. How about you guys catch? They didn't drop it. I dropped them, but they didn't drop it. That guy's doing way more damage than me. He's, he's only one level higher. That's distressing. He shouldn't be doing that much more damage than me. make sure he gets a hit on that thing since we have open tapping now oh the second after he did whatever he did i fire off my frost nova me take candle i I've, I've been doing it for 20 years i'm not going to stop taking their goddamn candles all right that's just not going to happen If they didn't want me to take their candles, um, they shouldn't have candles? Uh, I don't think that's going to work out that well for them. Glacial Spike! So we got we got uh, candles and flicker flame cobalts. I only killed about half as many of the cobalts as I need to. Well, there's something up there. There's something up above me that I need, evidently. Oh, we got some more candles, or at least one. Looks like a bundle of three, but it's not. Oop, I did not see him there. Oh, that's not good. I didn't want to shoot him. That was badly, really badly done by yours truly. And that was not well done either. My uh, minion that it was cast by... Random chance, I think, is it a chance to pop up the uh, I have water elemental. It was aggroing everything for miles around, and yet I'm fine. I'm going to say uh, that it's all to my credit. I'm just that awesome. I'm going to say that. It's a, it's a lie, but I'm going I'm to say it. Why not just a little glacial spike between friends? What's the harm in that? Okay, actually, it's kind of a lot of harm because I'm murdering them, but... I mean, other than that... Wow! Uh, 77. Okay, he's a higher level, so... 
thing he can kind of pwn me. A spool of web weave. Oh, what a web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Where are we at? Uh, this guy keeps uh, respawning himself. but two more of the Earthen Identification Badges. I guess I do need stinking badges. That's an old guy movie reference. Well, I'd rather not fight one of the big, ugly ones. I'd rather fight the small, ugly ones. They're easier. Okay. Play that. Yeah, that was maybe not the best decision of your career, now was it? Punks. Pardon me. Carried away. I need two more badges. Two more stinking badges. Uh, there's one up there. Or one up var, if you prefer. Well, somebody's been here recently as... Uh, but they're all dead. Hmm. Where do I think the last one is likely to be? That's the dungeon entrance, obviously. That should be the last plaque. And I can fly. And bam. That's all the rest has to do with quality of earwax. That was Let's see, what do we got? Uh, garbage. I would well, never have imagined will. all the uses of mammals' waxy secretions. Mammals' waxy secretions. I don't think I want any more information on that. Thank you. Uh, cave Dweller's Delight. Uh, a whole lot of health. No, a uh, skitter. I'm not doing it. You remember, I thought so. Uh, that's a nice upgrade on the belt. Bring back I go from 372 stamina to over 2,000. So, uh, yeah. About six times. So I'm going to describe that as an improvement. And Brinthe? Machines must be preserved. <laughs> Broken the memories. No stone behind. The archive. And cobalt shoulder. May the deeps continue. Destroy mining be. rigs in the lost mines. And cogchewers is muscle for Candle King. So mean. Rebuilds earthen gears for wars. Also in charge of mines defenses. Need his keys to get in the mines. And get me out of this thing. Kill cogchewer in the lost mines. Did you take the key from cogchewer? and destroy the rigs he stole. They could spell disaster for Thundergaz. All right, uh, in here, 
I need to destroy mining rigs and kill the bossy dude. this guy get to it first. I don't know if this is a mutually clickable. It is. Excellent. Well, there's Cog Chewer. Ow. He annihilated that thing. There's Cog Chewer, who we both need, presumably. got his keys. Now I just need to destroy a bunch of mining rigs. Like, say, this one. I don't believe I gave him permission for that. What, would you stop, sir? Not gonna out heal a, a hit that does more damage than you had when we started. Always nice when you're running around in an area where other people are running around and you're kind of doubling up either killing things really fast or just you know clicking on the things each other are killing Peasy did it all by myself, too, you know? No help from anyone else. I'm a, a tough, rugged individual, and I can handle all these quests by myself. In fact, I refuse to accept assistance from any other person. Because I haven't earned it unless I've earned it. That entire speech was a pack of lies. Thank you. An enormous pack of lies. And, simultaneously, a pack of enormous lies. You have keys? But you know what I need right now? What I desperately need right now? I need another level. I feel much better. I believe I was going here next. Uh, yeah, I think so. Conversation initiated. I will receive Vengeful Fire Spirit. Well, that will be a new trinket. Gee, item level 483 instead of item level 252. I'm not sure. Is that an improvement? May your cogs hold. We'll meet you on the inside. Ah, is this the second... Um, I'm guessing this is the second dungeon solo version. I have opened the gate. Oh, and it knocked me back. Maybe not. Think I not see what you do in my mind? Run around, steal candle, kill cobalt. Bah, I'm Candle King. 
is Candle King. Snoot, snoot snout. Leave new friends. Elemental present. Gate is opened. And close door behind. We not entertain today. Ah, wick breaker. Whoop, get out of that. Charged fragments. That's all he drops. Charged fragments. Candle King is cruel, but very strong. Too strong to attack like this. I attend to the That did not go as expected. Our new cobalt friend might have some better ideas. I will ensure your name is in the archive. We definitely need that. And I think it also has No, it's just an equip. Okay. Easier on the brain. Uh, damaging, have a chance to grant you Storm's Eye. And the other one is... No, we'll stick with the one we've got. Scout and distribute pamphlets across the Warrens from the air. Hop on a flying mount, optional. Scout the safe area, 120 pamphlets. Maybe it's not the dungeon. At least maybe not yet. A blister tech action, Stormhunter. That's better than other Odin. I have scouted the safe area. Where's the pamphlets? Do we fly over the area? And... Oh. I missed one somewhere. Look at board, there it is. That was a lot of pamphlets. Right now, the locals are cursing me as um, a litterer. Sad to see home in such state, but we fix. Kaboldening. Uh, give me shoulder pads. Ever so slightly better than the ones I currently have. Yeah, I got a couple items from the uh, the pre-event, pre-expansion leveling event. Um, I'm still, I think, using the staff, the hat, and the shoulders. I also had the, the chest or body. Now we deal with the bullies. All right, we'll deal with the bullies then. I will have no qualms about kicking crap out of bullies. Bullying the bullies, so to speak. Are these the bullies? They must be. Sudden, am I under attack by miscellaneous critters attacking me out of nowhere? Also, noticing that occasionally the respawns are uh, occasionally a little overly quick. You know. All right, we got our first useful scrap. That's not helpful. All right, another one, or a bunch that time.
Sometimes it's good to be a frost mage. Tail browbeater. Oh. How about useful looking scrap? That's a wax tail browbeater. That looks like a clicky. guy's almost got a million hit points. Um, the little dudes have got half that. However, they are numerous. What do we have over here? One of the oppressed kobolds. Free. That's one of the barrels, then. Uh, somebody annihilated that guy. Or maybe just pulled him. there. That's not interesting. Looks like we've got another one of the barrels over here. The thing I'm not a fan about in flying is it becomes so uncontrollable so quick. Alright, this guy's really unpleasant. two of the barrels, but we still need to free a whole bunch of dudes. Looks like it's at least two per for the big sort of um, unpleasant slave drivering types. Stable Cinder Brew. Let these guys gather together for convenient execution. Don't seem to have an awful lot of those big guys around, though. And we don't need a huge number. Probably five. That's one of them. Uh, we'll try a little motion magic. That didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. Sad to say. All right, but uh, he is listed as one of the oppressors of the kobolds. So um, how about a nice little... Comet swarm to get things started. And here they come. Why 
Something still alive. Asking the important questions, like, why is he still alive? Mmm, Cinnabons. Oh my god, so good. Oh, I need, um, yeah, I need three more of the big dudes. The oppressors. The oppressors of the uh, working class kobold. It is both not one and he's dead. Number of players running around, that's good. That's healthy. Let's see. Uh, possible goodie box up there. And the goodie was. Versatile storm. No, that's not it. Uh, maybe an XP item? Maybe nothing? Oh, a rep item. I'll take a rep item. I ain't too proud to rep. Should be one of the big guys. Yeah. He was worth two more freed, oppressed little dudes. Seems like there might be a shortage. He is another one. Uh, he's in an invade. But we'll all hop on him right now. Yeah, they're worth two each, so I need one more of the big dudes, and it looks like everyone's running around trying to kill them. There's another one over there. Oh, got a whole bunch of people in the way. And, uh, me and this DK, and oh, somebody else. I will get in my big damage hit right there. That I didn't get that one. That guy only had one. The only Cinnabons you have around here are Taco Bell. That's not a real Cinnabon. But then Taco Bell's not a real taco, so I guess that's actually perfectly fair and reasonable. That one didn't have what we needed. This one should. Well, I'm giving him a big crit to finish him off. Thank you! Outstanding. Did it say 11 out of 10? I think it said 11 out of 10. I've never seen that before. Uh, the full-size Cinnabons, and I assume actually that the Taco Bell ones are some are probably a reasonable facsimile sized for the the cooking gear they already have because basically that's what Taco Bell does is they've got their setup and they just mix and match so they can to get a new product like that if they can stick it into one of their existing cooking mechanics they can probably make it work. Pookie, I'm not Pookie, I am Lens. Boldening, excellent. And the ones at Taco Bell are donut holes with cream cheese in the middle. Yeah, that's not a Cinnabon. It might taste similar, but it's definitely not a Cinnabon. Sabotage the pots of wax in the orange. 
Let's see what we've got. Here. We want to sell all of that stuff, including that. We got shoulders we can't wear, but we can unlock the cosmetic. I can't use that. Oh, they're great quality, of course. And those are the real ones that are three item levels better. I give up crit and mastery for haste and verse. Fine. But at least these should, they cannot be disenchanted. That's just not, not sporting. Not sporting at all. Where are we off to next? Uh, looks like we're heading into the ca into caves again. Well, it's a good thing nothing bad ever happens in caves. Uh. How about, again, just a nice little critical... Oh, you can't even give me a critical to finish that guy off. What good am I? Of what potential use am I to anyone? I mean, you know, unless you need ice cubes. In which, yeah, I, I can do that for you. I need to target something first. Well, we've got more of them, so we'll just... You know. Where did he come from? I figured that one might hurt a little bit. I could use a nice big crit right about now. Thank you for the nice big crit. I am appreciative of every time I get nice big crits, and I cannot lie. Is he still alive and then ran off? Is that what just happened? I mean, that's what looked like it happened. Oh, we've got things we need to do out here, too. Uh... Okay, fine, fine. I didn't realize. Didn't see the little dude sitting there. Now I wish they'd pretended that they had just hadn't seen me at all. Uh, I, I need to destroy a bunch of wax. You know, you got your wax. You got your stacks of wax. Well, yes, you can have a glacial spike if you really want one. I'm more than willing to provide a glacial spike to deserving little kobolds everywhere. about another big spike in your Ooh. crit both of them that's delightful i mean that's that's terrible certainly one should never celebrate uh, the horrible critical hit induced deaths of one's foes it, it feels unfair 
Where did you two little assholes come from? You weren't there a moment ago. Here I am just peacefully attempting to destroy all of their industry and they object and attack me. Obviously this is nothing but cobalt aggression. Takes him down a peg or two. Yeah, well, that would be Conversation nice. Let, we have some skitter. Recover the candle crown from Dark Flame Cleft. Not elephant, not I'm ready to infiltrate Dark Flame Cleft. I'm not sure that I am, but here we're going in anyway, guys. Cobalt disguise. Apply the disguise skitter has made for you out of the scrap he recovered from the Warrens. I am now... Oh, it doesn't show up. All right, I'll zoom in. I am now... That really... I'm, I'm not a convincing kobold at all, really. Fortunately, the light is dim, and they're dimmer. Uh, candle crown. Retrieved. Tiny, as dumb as he is, massive. Okay. Wait. Oh, I have to snuff the candles. I see. Fear. Surprise. Ruthless efficiency and almost devoted... Uh, the fanatical devotion to the Pope and our nice red robes. That's a Monty Python reference for those who think I was getting all religious. Just dark. Dark can't hurt you if you keep light inside. Just dark. Dark can't hurt you if you keep light inside. That's one way of looking at it. Sure. Dark can't harm you if you keep light inside. Can we reach this one without? I'm out of range. I need to get closer. Yes. Snuffed him. Snuffed him like a uh, like a candle. One to go. This way, I think, should get me where I need to go. It's too far away. No, it's not. not the way forward is blocked with waxy buildup. Defeat Waximus. I have to kill Waximus. He has uh, uh, two million hit points. That might be a little on the dicey side. Don't suppose I can. Click on the candles. <sighs> what do we got that we might be able to add for additional oomph? How about that? He's an invalid target. Do I have to be like inside the circle? I, I've done something wrong. Dead. I am doing 
some more damage to him than I expected. He's got a molten spew coming. Yes, there is. Fortunately, apparently, um, Skitter is something of a healer. Ah, it was fine the whole time. I knew it. Everything was fine. We were great. Never in any question. It's cool. Cool, cool. The throne room awaits. Acquire the candle keys from Drip Ear. Oh, Drip Ear. That just it sounds gross. I'm going to put that out there. Acquire the candle keys from Drip Ear. Drip Ear the Waxy. I don't think I needed to know that. We have boxes. Acquire the candle key is what I have to do, but we have boxes. Discarded loot. It's locked. I wish I was on a road right now. Although, the odds that there's actually anything worthwhile in them, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's pretty small. Speak with Skitter to enter a dark flame cloud. I don't think that's any... No, I don't want to exit the scenario. Um, but I can't attack him, so presumably I have to either drop the disguise or step in close to him. Copy. Yeah, we burned through him pretty quick. Quick, grab key, take crime. Got a handle crown. Yes! Crown symbol of hope. Candle key no take it from us. Now yes. we escape. Let's go. Now we escape, let's go. Okay, I just have to speak to him and let's get out of here. I'm trying to get out of here. We have it. Let's run. Why? No. No, I, you can't be disguised. Doesn't say that, but you can't be disguised. I got the candle crown, baby. I'm the king of the kobolds now. Until someone take candle. Uh, 483. Again, this is a tiny bit better than what I currently have. But a tiny bit is more than nothing. Uh, well... The appearance for that. And we will now use this. As I go from 38.34 int to 39.43. So I gain 109 int. Not a bunch, but like I said, not nothing. Presumably this one can't be disenchanted either. Curse them. 
The machines must be preserved. Return to Gundergaz. May the deeps continue to I am sorry for what has happened. I'm off to Gundergaz, guys. Guys, Gundergaz. Gundergaz, like guys. To watch your home slip away. Candle King may still hold power here, but your people have a home in Gundergaz. Aww. That's sweet. We help new friends. We Many help hands new friends. Many hands make light work. We turn to have more courage. Earn reputation throughout Kaz Algar. Oh, two tiers. <coughs> Uh, what's what's new in the Plunder Lord's Golden Crocolis? Get that at the end. Complete a delve. We've done that. Complete ten quests. Why isn't that checked? It's checked below, but not checked there. I don't understand. Complete three delves. Uh, five delves. I need three more delves. Defeat 25 dungeon bosses. That won't be happening. Pardon the yawn. Old man is old. Oh my god, the Dark Moon Fair is on. I haven't been to the Dark Moon Fair like for three or four years, I think. Something like that. You the Moira, encourage of members the of the crowd to air their grievances. Yes, what can possibly go wrong? You, you know, unless mob gone. violence would count. Could, that could happen. Now is the time to speak up. Now's the time to speak the up. The number of working machinists is insufficient. Speak up. We preparing? All the more reason to restore our awakening. Earth and above us have fought that battle. And we've recovered from our own minor raid. We're currently Ready for turn in? A wrench in the works. No I'm a work wrencher, for sure. Return to your that actually sounds duties. a little dirty. I'm okay the with high that. speaker. Speaker Brinthe, investigate the rumors about Teoloch. I'll speak with the council in Dornagal. They need to hear about this. About this. In the meantime, I want to investigate Teoloch. Something about those missing shipments. I'm coming with you, lad. Brinthe, oh, a companion. A quest that gives me a terrifying flame elemental bee. Don't run off until I take your quest, Skitter. Uh, first thing I need to do is run to the center. Um, isn't there? Yeah, there's a blacksmith vendor dude over here. We'll repair our stuff. Uh, uh, Twelve gold. Oh my god, I'm gonna go broke. We'll sell all the junk items. Sell that, sell that, and sell that. Have you purchased all you need? Seventy-five thousand gold. This is my, if not my most played character, my second most played character. I have seventy-five thousand gold, which I believe, at the current prices, is about three eighths of a token, a one-month token. So. Foreman Grimes. I gotta help him by cleaning up Gundergaz. And Janky, I like Janky already. That's a fine name. Meet Janky in the Cinder World. Janky? Janky? Sorry, not Jinky. Jinkies would be if uh, this was, of course, a Velma role playing game. Granny Scribbles. Let's relive Granny Scribbles' story, shall we? Tell me about Dripsy, Granny Scribbles. Dear God, I can't believe I'm over 60 and I'm dialoguing like this. Okay, uh, it's fine. Oh. Uh, Dripsy forgot her candle. 
12 shiny rocks gathered. Mm hmm. Shiny rocks. That is a scary skitterer, and it has two and a half million uh, hit points. That's a lot. Shiny rocks. That's another scary skitterer. And if I were uh, an entomophobe, or I am an entomophobe, if I were a um, arachnophobe, I would find those creepy as hell. But I still wouldn't expect an arachnophobe mode. Four. I'd rather not fight any of the stupidly large critters if I can avoid it. Because they have shitloads of hit points. Or possibly hit loads of shit points, I'm not sure. I mean, I'll be able to get away from. with invisibility if need be. You just stay right there, Mr. Clacky Pincers. No need for you to be moving anywhere. Shiny rock for sweet meat. I, I'm not at all sure I want to meet sweet meat. Uh, that's a mean stone head, and he also has 2.4 million hit points. And now uh, I kind of wish I was a rogue, you know? By the way, the other character I have, well, I have like four or five into the expansion. But uh, my highest level is a rogue. Well, why did everything just get darker? And darker as candle grows short. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is that time based? Or based on me getting the sixth crystal? Or seventh? I'm guessing time based? Otherwise, I would have expected it on the 6th, not the 7th. Four to go. Mm. Oh, that guy just yelled for no reason. Who does that? Who just yells for no good reason? I mean, he, him, he, he does, actually. But who else? Couple more over there. Good, good. That's a scary sticker. So you've got stickers and skitterers. Okay. No, 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 no. You don't need to come this way. You really don't need to come this way. Honestly, you don't have to come this way. That should be 12. I'm just sneaky. No wonder my current high level is a rogue. It's because I'm so naturally sneaky. Shiny rock for sweet meat until candle go out and dripsy all alone. Well, yeah, okay, that would that might not be great. And that's why and that why never go out without candle tenderfoots or go crunch like dripsy. You listen too. Maybe learn something. Important. Not forget candle. Something every little cobalt need learn. Relive Granny Scribble's story. Oh, okay. Sit down. 
Stop talk and Granny Scribbles tell you story. Story that maybe saved life one day. About what happened when not listen to old wise Cobalt. Like me, as an actual old not wise not kobold you'd probably yeah if i offer advice don't listen Be nice to tell me about chomps granny scribbles Stand up to Whitney. sure why not chomps ladies and gentlemen i'm in the fetid grotto of course i am dig up high what am i digging for am i looking for a clicky Oh, okay, we do actually have a directional pointer going on here. We'll follow it, because I am not a cobalt, but I am sometimes a sheep. Somebody cast Powerwood Power Word Fort on me, and I was not aware and did not gift them back with an arcane intellect, and I feel shame. I have dug up high. Crash! Dig too greedy and too high. Bring whole cave down on poor kobolds. Trap many. Squish many. Find mag... No. Uh, trapped kobolds freed. Okay, well. Busted up some angry rocks. Saved a trapped cobalt. We got more angry rocks, everyone. I have angry rocks on it. And eat a spike. I don't have mining, so I can't mine them. I have freed two cobalts. Uh, okay, that one died. I did not free that one, as you can tell by the fact that he died. No, this one's probably going to die. Oh, yep, he's, he's dead. Yep, he's, he's dead. He's all messed up. We had a some angry rocks spawn behind me. Oh, whoop, yep, he squished. A lot of good object lessons for you young kobolds here. I hope you're all paying attention. big crit, but not big enough to kill him. Not quite. I have Granny keeps getting me almost dead every time for one of her lessons. All right, Granny Scribbles, you're not too old to respect Elder's lens. Even if not cobalt, Granny, don't make me. me what? What scary story? You ask, Granny Scribbles. Give, give what want. Maybe then sit like good tenderfoots. Scariest story, Granny. No, yes, story about the day Stoneheads came. All right, I. Why on earth would I stop now? Tell me about the day the Stoneheads came, Granny Scribbles. Stand up to Whitney. Uh, I need to find Soft Snout's favorite shovel. Soft Snout, love him shovel. And a good shovel. 
Soft Snout, somewhat obsessive compulsive about Shovel. It kind of scary. Well, how about we slow fall and just skip right down? Snowfall, kind of cheating. Slow fall. Snowfall, not cheating. Save what can be saved. Um, calm down! I'm trying to save what can be saved. Center. It's a cog walker. That was a cog walker. I'm not sure if I got any credit for that or not. But hey, it's not always about credit for the things you've done. Sometimes it's about getting credit for the things other people have done. And making sure they don't get it. It's not enough to live well. Others have to live badly. Otherwise, what's the point? Keep walking. There, kill all rats, Yellowstone heads. Purge infestation. Shoot everyone. Burn everything. Me no like Stoneheads. Kind of dicks. And once again, I'm driven down to like one percent life, because hey. There are no good life lessons that don't require you to almost die. It's you. Hey, Nod Knox. How goes? Hope story not too scary for you. Be nice to come Granny on. Scribbles gestures around to the room. Not all Stonehead's bad, seemed like. Still, little kobolds need to know what happened. What can happen. Thank you, Granny you. Scribbles. Time for happy story. Not all day's bad. Granny Scribbles gently scratches old Snorler behind his ears. Tell story of how be friends with moles. Story of Mipsy Mole Rider. All right, Granny Scribbles. This is f I, I have no idea how many stories Granny Scribbles has, but this is four. Tell me about Mipsy, Granny Scribbles. Nod Knox is sitting there going, uh, what happened to Lens? When did he suffer the brain damage? At birth. A uh, hungry ro mole mounted. I'm going... <sighs> okay, I'm going to mount a hungry mole. <sighs> no, I'm not. Didn't like that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a juicy grub. I have collected a juicy grub. I'm going to try again. Have a grub, and I'll mount you. Where am I going? Uh... Mole riding course completed. Oh, okay. Ah. Ah. Just got back from your first vacation years and all seems good, so I'll most likely break your leg tomorrow to balance it out. Karma! You know? At least you didn't break the leg during the vacation. You know, so, good vacation, break leg. 
way better than middle of good vacation, break leg, ruin vacation. I mean, unless you come back to one international lottery and billionaire. That would be a, a good kind of balance. Not that you could spend it on anything good, because then that would just cause something crappy to happen. Tenderfoot's always fan of that one. What do you think of Mole? Think Ride Good is Mipsy? Oh my god, it never ends. Um, now tell story a very far place called Surface. New friend from there, yes? So they know what Granny Scribbles talk about. She nods sagely as she points you out. Story of how Cobalt discover it long ago, and what find when do. Story of the Wickless Candle. Care not for money? We have enough of that. No time to use it. Well, that's the thing. If you had all the money, you would then have time to use it. Money is... Uh, it, it, Solves problems and um, gives options. Doesn't solve all problems. Doesn't give all options. But that's what it provides, at least in my mind, is it mostly provides just lots more options. Uh, start climbing. I'm climbing. Oh, great. Big spiders. Can't look now. I'm climbing a big pillar with conveniently placed rocks. Thank goodness for the conveniently placed rocks or I would be screwed. A tip is top when reach ceiling and no more to go. See crack just big enough to squeeze into. Granny Scribbles can sure tell a story. Money does not make a workaholic work less. No, that's true. It just gives them more choices as to what kind of work they want to do. Again, choices. I have to leave the cave, and I have reached the surface. Uh, old Granny Scribbles has. Granny Scribbles, biggest cave any cobalt ever sees. So big, can't see walls, can't see ceiling. And in not ceiling, a candle so bright... It blind you to look at it. Magic flying candle, not need wax to burn, just too but too high to grab, no matter how much she jump. Other kobolds never believe story, so she need bring back proof. Uh, proof telling flower. So she picked strange flower never seen before, bring back home. And that how Cobalt discovers surface. Too bright, too big for tenderfoots, but maybe new friends tell you stories someday. Have we finished off Granny Scribbles? We have finished off the five tales of Granny Scribbles. Thank you, Granny Scribbles. I laughed. I cried. It changed my life. Pardon the yawn. Old man is old, you know. I don't even know what that is. Oh, I have to, I have to pull the overgrowth. Pardon me as I pull it in public. 
so to speak. Just pull it. Just pull it. Already got the work she wants, making cheese traditional way, being a farrier in her spare time. I, I like the quotes on spare. Next up, she's going to be a Cooper. Or perhaps a Fletcher. Uh, no, I need rubble clear. I need to clear rubble. Oh, well, we've got rubble. New expansion? Yes, it is the brand new expansion. It's been out almost two weeks. Week and a half. Two weeks for Guild Wars 2 tomorrow. Two weeks for the early release for WoW on Thursday. This is the uh, first of the three expansions that are coming in WoW. Uh, the War Within starts you on the surface. Who about to talk to? Looks like him. No, not him. Hmm. Looks like it should be him. Um, and then you will go underground, and we're eventually working our way, presumably down to the very, to the Titan that lives inside. This is the second map. The first map is the Isle of Dorne outside, then you go down into the Ringing Deeps, and then next, I think, to Ash Kazet, uh, Kahet, but I'm not sure, or Hollow Falls, the other one. I know this is Nerubians, the old enemies, the insectoid race. I don't know anything about Hollow Fall, actually. I know nothing at all about Hollow Fall. The burden is mine. Oh, I have to catch stone, stone skitterers. God, English is just... The English as a first language lessons. I, I need to practice more. Skitterers. Stone skitterers. Like this one. An infesting stone skitterer. Not a regular sort of vanilla, you know. Stone skitter. This one is quite clearly infesting. Why are they making statues of these people? And more importantly, why haven't they made a statue of me? Seriously, that's that's insulting. They know who I am. Stint with WoW ended with Burning Crusade, so anything here is quite ungraspable as far as lore is concerned. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, in Legion, the Shadow Priests, I believe it was, got a weapon. And the weapon would talk to your character. And it presented itself as this elder power imprisoned in uh, in a dagger. And the elder power has escaped and inhabited the body of an elf and is the current big bad. And here is... He's got nothing. Start talking. Just tell me, tell me what to do. Right. The blasted console stuck. A little percussive maintenance should loosen it up. Uh, control, steam pipe, pressure readout. Too slow. Let me know you're ready to. Uh, I'm More ready to get a move on. The pipe. Uh, nope, that's not the, the pipe. It's over here. Read those pressure numbers. There's the readout. Too much pressure. Yank the lever. 
What's the pressure now? Uh, pipe's coming quick. Pressure's too much. Throw the shutoff valve. Is that the shutoff valve? Yeah, I think. No, not that one. Now we have to start over. Screw you. You didn't say what the shutoff valve was. Always another Pipe's time. loose. Right, right. Here's pipe. Blasted console stuck. Pipe's coming loose. Pressure's too much. Throw the shutoff lever. What's the pressure at now? Pipe's coming loose. Pressure's too much. Throw the shutoff lever. I did it. Not bad, outsider. Not bad. Well, I'm a natural. You know. For percussive maintenance, the number of times I have used percussive maintenance on computers, and it actually worked, is startlingly high. Pipe patching? Is that like pipe laying? Because I laid pipe. Yeah, that was just dirty innuendo. Never mind. Um, let's see. Where is the guys I can beat up? To find his brass knuckles. Did this one earlier today on a different character. You are acknowledged. I'm acknowledged. Awesome. Hmm. Not in here. What was it? No, no, not in here. I'm in somebody's house now. That, that's just, that was rude of me. Shouldn't go into a place where, you know, you're not invited. But it wasn't really my fault. Bonk. Uh, what do we got over here? Nothing. Uh, do I need to talk to these guys? No, no. That's up above. Ow. There we are. How about these guys? Yeah, one of them's got something for me. Uh, tunnel rat crew, oh, warning. This will skip over the puzzle, but take a long time. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, I remember hearing about this one. I'm going to try it at least. Uh, let's see. Almost there. Any of us old enough to remember there was a LucasArts game with a pipe puzzle like this. Sort of a variation on the old 15 puzzle. I think this is going to be faster than listening to the story, frankly. Hmm. 
No, nope, we've got to do turns for sure. Although I understand if you've got uh, a, like a cross piece, you don't have to have all four inputs. You just have to have an input and an output that are right. So it's actually a slightly easier version of the puzzle than you used to have. No. Yep. Sorry. Not interested in spending that much time on a on a puzzle like that. It's been a long time. I worked in a game store for years. What a shock, huh? And the famous 15 puzzle is a was a 4x4 four four, um, sliding tile puzzle with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 on the top, 5 through 8, 6 through 9, Sorry, wow. 5 through 8, 9 through 12, and 13 through 15 in a blank at the bottom. And then you would just mix it up however you wanted, and you'd hand it to someone, and then they would have to figure out how to get it all correct. And I was actually quite good at it. I could do it very quickly. But that was a long time ago. And you had more space to work with than you have in that puzzle. Now, the real evil about the 15 puzzle is if you popped out the tiles and you made it go 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 12, and 13, 15, 14, that couldn't be solved. And so at the store, we set all of our 15 puzzles that we had sitting out on the countertops for people to play with, we set them all to be unsolvable because we were jerks. And I've read the plans. I solved those puzzles easily, don't you think? Well, I'm just a natural at those kinds of things. You know, not everyone is very good at that stuff. I'm just, for me, easy. Just easy. Totally not lying through my teeth. Except for all the bits that was actually a lie. That was me lying through my teeth. I was telling you the truth about working in the game store and what we did with the puzzles and the fact that uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 14 is unsolvable. And being dicks, I was, that was true too. There are people in here I'm supposed to fight with, if memory serves, to find a missing thing. So I thought it was in here. And the... Yep. Rough, deep diamond shard. I ain't found that yet. Eight. I am good Englisher. So it wasn't here. Was it up? Or was it down? It must be down. Down where? is not helpful. I was just here a minute ago. That is not helpful. Oh, oh I'm leaking pipes. Oh, okay. This is a flying quest. Just fly through the steam, more or less.
That's what the quest I wasn't seeing was. Need one more. Where's the last one? There it is. Open main release valve and deal with whatever happens. I, for the life of me, can't imagine what could possibly go wrong. Oh, down below. This. Well, just to be on the safe side, you know, we'll put up a little magical shield around ourselves. Geothermus. That's not great. Like I said, that's not great. Probably should have chugged lugged a potion. Blown more of my cooldowns, so to speak. I'm getting a res. I'm going to sit down and munch. He's revving me up with goodness. And I'm not sure it'll help him or not, but give him what goodness I can, too, and we're going to try this again. Light of him, assuming he doesn't have the quest too. I will bow before drums from the server Nerjal. Who says we can't all get along? That is another level. Ding 74. Another talent point. Renown 3. Awakening Machine Unlock Profession Recipes available. Nice, nice. Let's see. Uh, Frostfire Empowerment grants you maximum benefit of Frostfire Mastery and refreshes its duration. Activated Combustion or Icy Veins grants you Frostfire Empowerment. Let's take that one. Let's repair our uh, busted-ass gear. I mean, we just got diedified. we doing on cloth? We didn't get much. We, we haven't gotten much weaver cloth from this at all. We got a lot more up above in the first batch of goodies. What was it for enchanting I needed? The storm dust. I have enough now. I'm still working with one crappity old ring so we can enchant this one. Don't think we've got any extra delicious reagents to buff it. So we'll take that and it's going to add um, haste by 130. No biggie, but hey. Not nothing. And my enchanting is now nine. Plus I got a little dongle I can use to increase my enchanting by one. Enough browsing. Well, we got uh, two levels today. 
my expectation for tomorrow will probably be one and change. Uh, but I'm going to call it here for the evening. Park my ass here in the inn, as is tradition. I don't remember there being a box in this room. There's a box in the other room that I can't open because I don't have the dongle for it. That is ruined earthen pins. I'm going to assume that is probably enchanting buff. Increase the tailoring by three. Nice. Very nice. So I'm going to park it here in the inn, and I will be back tomorrow at the usual time of 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, middle of the night in Europe, early morning in Asia, Australia, and New Zealand with more World of Warcraft. The Lensinating. Not my original lens. My original lens was in Star Wars Galaxies, but uh, this, I think, was my second ever lens. So, uh, back tomorrow. Again, I want to thank you guys very much for hanging out. As always, I really appreciate it. I'm back tomorrow. Hopefully you'll see me soon. Have a great rest of your evening. And I hope your upcoming week doesn't suck. Back tomorrow. Have a great night tonight. Take care. And ciao for now. Good night, guys.